Hello and welcome to the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. Today we're going to look at the North American quarterfinal highlights and we're going to look ahead to the regional grand finals that you can watch live on Twitch on December 5th. Before we get into the racing, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. First up is the Xbox race, where the top two drivers will qualify for the regional finals. Red lights and we go green here then at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And it's time for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. The quarterfinals kicking off. And I tell you what, it's a fantastic start then by Physique. He has managed to get up into the lead. A little bit of Argy Bargy then in behind, almost three wide, but battling for position two. And you see there's a late lunge up the inside there by, I believe, Visceral. That is not really what you should be doing there. It is going to be side by side. And I told you, John, they can go through here side by side. Well, I'll tell you what, actually, fair play there to Dale Rossi. Dale Rossi backed out, and I think he realizes it's a long 20 minute race here, and he's got to try and just keep his car in a good position. Visceral really stirring the pot there and causing a bit of chaos. He, he's currently sat in fourth place. He's about seven tenths uh, behind Paleo. Can we? Wow, actually, Paleo making it up to third has to be the story of lap number one. Uh, Rollface again, able to just, you know, it was three people battling for P2, and now he is on his own in P2. And he knows how important this is, but he now needs to think, I don't need to chase down the leader here. Uh, Visceral here, I think Visceral needs to get ahead. Might we be seeing the makings maybe of a do or die lunge at some point? I think it has to happen here. Um, I think Visceral's struggling because he's using that traction control. He's just not able to get the launch out that final corner. We go back on board then with Visceral. And is this the time he gets that really good exit out of the final corner? Now he needs to get underneath that rear wing. You can see that Palio Violet is trying to break that slipstream toe. And uh, well, he's doing it very, very well right now, but I think it's coming. He's gonna fake to go around the outside and then go up the inside. Yep, called it up the inside, late on the brakes. And oh, it's a late block there. And that is really poor. Really poor there. You can't be going to do that. And actually, Visceral's gone for the move up the inside there. He had every right to make the move up the inside there. And again, Palio Violet has just completely blocked him. Credit where credit's due. We've got to talk about the two front runners here. Physique has just just done what he needed to do. He looks like he's going to have a lights to flag victory here. Rollface in second position. He's also going to book his place into our regional finals. Our second race is on PlayStation, but this time the top four drivers will qualify. Race number two of the Logitech McLaren G Challenge quarterfinals. We're here for the North Americans in Indianapolis road course. And well, there's almost a bit of argy bargy in the background, but everyone seems to be running pretty cleanly here. It's very difficult to indeed have an accident going in a straight line, but you'll be very surprised as to how many sim racers do manage to do that. And I'll tell you what, fair play here to Cone Dodger, but he's taken the lead of the race here. It's a smashing apex. Has not got the best of starts, and Cone Dodger said, thank you very much. I'll take that opportunity. Thank you, sir. And off he goes. And now we're seeing in the background here, battle for fourth position. Lost prototype and Texas then. We're getting together, and actually that's not good for them. They don't want to be battling as hard as that early in the race. They will let the leaders go. And that's exactly the opposite of what they want to do. We saw this on Xbox, but the front three then, as it stands then, is Cone Dodger leading, smashing Apex then. He's going to make a late lunge here, potentially. No, he's not. He's going to be patient. He's got plenty of time. He's got 20 minutes. Again, he is in a qualifying position right now. He's golden. We've got Um Source then in third position. And Texas then is in fourth spot. We've got the battle here now for P3. And well, you can see the snip's going to try and go around the outside here of Um Source. Um Source holds a pretty good line there. And you've got to be careful, you two. There's two drivers very, very close in behind of Texas and Spy. For the car behind you, and you're just having to really focus on never actually putting yourself out of position. And that is a very defensive line going wide. That's going to cost him time coming out of this corner. They do not need to be battling like this. So Cone Dodger should just let him go. Just let him go. The real interesting battle here is Spy and Texas. Analyzing their lines and taking a look at where they're going. You can see Spy is still just being a little bit defensive, allowing Texas through on that occasion. But he was just constantly tighter and forcing Texas to go wider, giving Texas the better line. Got him, and Texas is going to run wide there. So he's been ghosted into that mistake. Very much similar to what Apex was doing earlier in this race. Contact between the two here. Texas time not leaving a wide enough gap there. It's a fine line now. You know, this is the final opportunity. Four minutes, 50 seconds. You know, some of these drivers have indeed been competing for, wow, there there's a the mistake. There it is. So there is the mistake then. So Texas time trying to make the move here on Spy. Up the inside, the door left wide open. And well, now for the first time, we are going to see Texas time with some clear air. And well, is Um Source now going to be under that pressure? 
and looking at the gap, I think the critical gap is still between Source and Snipper Pig. Because if that gap comes under half a second and they actually start tussling for position, that is the point where Texas can catch up. And to be honest, that gap has stayed absolutely rock solid. I don't think there's much chance of Texas uh, making it in here. I'm not seeing mistakes. I'm not seeing variations in line. Snip and Source look to be just cruising to the finish at this point. Well, Smashing Apex is going to be a qualifier here. And I'll tell you what, so is Cone Dodger. Cone Dodger is going to be on his own as well. It is going to be Snipper Pig 007. And it's going to be Um Source, who again is going to reach a regional final in North America. And the final race is on PC with the six fastest drivers qualifying. And there we go. We have got the green light to go racing and the race is on. And I'll tell you what, Schumacher and Exwolf have got a great start here. Oh, there's all, all sorts of contact in the background. Looks like a car has not got off the line at all here. So I'm not too sure who that is, uh, but I, uh, again, I, I, we will have a look very, very shortly. They've not got off the line here at all. I wonder whether they, they might have even tabbed out. And well, Schumacher's lost the lead to Exwolf. Exwolf leads. Oh, contact in the background then between what well, looks like P5 and P6. So you're in a comfortable position and we just get a T-bone, which is now going to promote Woody up into third. We've got Sav in fourth, Mac Power in fifth position. A little bit further back there than in the bubble spot right now is Shiznit USA. So great stuff from him. Kumori currently then battling a three-way battle on the bubble right now. And uh, as it stands then, we've got Shiznit USA has just made a bit of a mistake there. I think that Kamori is in an excellent position right now, um, it, which sounds weird because, you know, they're at the end of the day, they're not inside the top six. But with how much action there's been in this race so far, I get the feeling we haven't seen the end of it, Luke. I'll tell you what, there's an accidental move up the inside there. He gets turned in on and it's a bit of six, one, a half a dozen of the other. And as it stands then, it is the one and only still holding on to that sixth position. As you can see here, Schumacher is trying to make a move here potentially for the lead. And X-Wolf goes late on the brakes here. And he's not able to turn in. And wow, this is... They don't need to be doing this, but I guess they're going to give us a spectacle. No contact between the two of them as it stands. Again, they're both in prime position to qualify for the regional finals. But it will just take one bit of contact, one serious bit of damage, and it could be race over. So again, they've just got to be very, very careful. Manage this race. And wow, there's a late lunge up the inside. Not quite close enough to do so. Let's go every single second. Not a problem whatsoever. Uh, Schumacher is asking Wolf, look, are you going to give this to me? Am I going to have to take it from you? And uh, X Wolf is saying, you're going to have to take every last inch of the racetrack. Oh, but Mr. Schumacher, what a move. round the outside. And actually, X Wolf just about manages to hold on by the skin of his teeth. Fantastic racing here for first and second. Now they have got three and a bit seconds on third place. I'm so glad the boys are giving us a show today. Uh, and I think X-Wolf might be flashing him through at this point. Or is he actually going for it? No, they are both going for it here. Side-by-side -side action between the two of them. And X-Wolf there with the touch as he goes onto the grass here. Schumacher does take the lead in a very Schumacher-esque move. Schumacher will take the race victory here and the first slot into our regional finals. X-Wolf does come across the line in second. But they got shut down Woody in third. Sarf in fourth. Max A Power is in fifth. And well, Z1 and only, as we said, a very mature drive. He is going to book his place into the regional finals. So there it is. We now have a full list of regional finalists. Let's take a look at everyone who will be competing for the title of regional champion. I'm FPR Physique. My name is Erie Riley. I'm 24 years old, born and raised in USA, Georgia. My favorite track is the 24 hour Le Mans track. My favorite part of the track is the long straight. And if I win this series, I'm gonna be like, yes, let's get in there. Let's go. My name's Todd Asherson. Gamer tags Rollface LFDY89. I'm 31 from the Hudson Valley, New York, United States. Next up is Smashing Apex, aka Christian Wiggins, who is a returning finalist from last year's G Challenge. His favorite driver is Michael Schumacher. And his advice to new drivers is that even if you can do better, always tell yourself you need to do better and it will come to you. We think the seven time F1 champion would approve of that attitude. Hey everyone, this is Mateo Skeptura, aka Cone Dodger. I'm 27 years old from the United States of America. Uh, my favorite track is going to be Watkins Glen. It's just a phenomenal facility, great high speed, high commitment track, lots of good technical sections in there as well. Uh, Watkins Glen does also happen to be my hometown, so it might be a little bit of bias in there. Uh, I've been racing real cars for the past 10 years or so, haven't made too much headway there, so it'd be nice to kind of prove that I'm good at racing something at least. Hey guys, I'm Snipper Pig. I'm 18 and I'm from the United States. 
My favorite track is Spa. It's the, uh, the first track I ever really raced around, and I've just loved it ever since. I'd say my biggest achievement in sim racing has been uh, when I won my group's four hours of Le Mans in the uh, GT class. Hello, my name is Matt Hugenschmidt, aka Sauce. I am 36 years old from South Carolina in the United States. I've been sim racing since about 2014. I uh, started off with Gran Turismo and then moved mostly to Project Cars about two years ago. Marquise, aka Mr. Schumacher, qualified in our PC online heat. You might be surprised to hear that Mr. Schumacher told us his favorite driver isn't the retired F1 racer of the same name. It is, in fact, the Danish racing driver Jan Magnussen. Hi, my name is David Moore, aka XWolf1369, and I race for Team ACR. I am 51 years old, yes, 51, and I am from the United States of America. My favorite driver is Jim Clark, the ultimate gentleman racer, could win in any car class, and just an amazing, amazing driver. I, I wish I could have seen him race. FPR Shudan Woody qualified in our PC online heat. Yo, what's up guys, Sarvesh here. Uh, I'm racing on the big gamer tag Sarv, um, and I'm 19 years old, uh, and I'm originally from India. Uh, my favorite track uh, by far has to be Fuji Speedway in Japan. I think that that track has a fantastic flow of corners, and the elevation change and the blind apexes, especially in sector three, make it a really, really fun drive in my opinion. Hello, I'm Max A. Power. Uh, my actual name is Max Bauman. I'm 31 and I'm representing the USA. I really want to win the G Challenge because I enjoy sim racing so much. I'm really getting into it. I'm really putting the time in when I can, even though I can't put as much time as I want. To put it all together for a win, I'd be ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic. Hi, I'm Z1 and Only, aka Mike. I'm 48 years old and I'm from the US. My favorite professional driver is Mario Andretti because he could drive anything and win. I want to win the McLaren G Challenge because it would be awesome to get instruction from a professional racing driver. We've just seen the highlights of the quarterfinals. Luke, how was it for you? Yeah, I just uh, was very, very happy with how from last year to this year, the progression has been just amazing. Uh, I think the biggest battle of the weekend was uh, X-Wolf and indeed Mr. Schumacher. Those two were duking it out for the whole race. Mr. Schumacher uh, managing to get the overtake in the end. He didn't need to make an overtake because top six qualified, uh, but he wanted to just have that psychological advantage going into the regional finals. Uh, on PlayStation, we had last year's um, North America PC champion uh, in Smashing Apex or as you might know him as THR Operator. He dominated on PlayStation 4. And on Xbox, well, we've never had Xbox before for North America. So two new names, Physique coming out on top and he was so, so dominant. So it's, uh, it's gonna be interesting in terms of the actual regional finals. Uh, a few new names, but the same ones are at the top. They've all improved. Uh, were there any new faces we have to watch out for that might be winner of the grand final? On PlayStation, we had Cone, Dodger and Snipper Pig. They're two new drivers that have qualified via that platform, adding in two drivers that were in last season's regional finals being Saab and Max A Power. Uh, that's going to be awesome to see them come back again. Will they have improved? Of course, they've had the benchmark to work on for a full year and also the one and only, or should I say, the one and only, as that is his game tag. He will be there as well. And that's your full North American list. Lots of new names, Maxime. Uh, a few names that we didn't see last year. So expecting it to be fireworks all over the place. So the regional grand finals are almost happening. Luke, where are you most excited about? Well, all of the drivers that were existing drivers from last year's G Challenge, they've all improved, which is great news. But the same names are at the top of the timesheets. We've got THR Operator or Smashing Apex, depending on what you want to call him. And X-Wolf, of course, world finalist last year in Las Vegas. But I guess Mr. Schumacher winning the PC against X-Wolf. That's going to be the spanner in the works here. So interested to see how that plays out. And while with two new drivers completely from the Xbox side of things, all on the same platform, it's going to be a really, really exciting show. That's for sure. Thanks for joining us, Luke. And good luck with commentating on the regional grand finals. That's going to be really nice. Thanks, Maxime. Cannot wait. It's going to be great. Great. So things are holding up for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge. Please don't forget to join Luke and John on Twitch for all the regional finals. I can't wait. And don't worry if you missed any, because you'll be able to find all the events on the G Challenge YouTube channel. 